Ladies and gentlemen, our next comedian you've seen on Last Comic Standing, please, please extend some love to Sarah Tolomash. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> She's nice. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> oh man. I uh, was on a date with this guy one time and he started talking about that actress Jennifer Lawrence and he was like, oh my god, that's like the one woman in this world I wish I could have sex with. <laughs> he was like, I'm sorry, if she came here right now, Sarah would be like, sorry, I'm gonna have sex with Jennifer Lawrence. And then he turned to me and was like, all right, your turn. Who's your one person? So I was like, how about that guy over there? <laughs> or that guy. <laughs> how many do we get? <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it's fun. I was talking to my friend from back home and she was telling me this story about how every time she goes to the zoo and she goes to the baboon exhibit, there's always like one baboon that is constantly masturbating. <laughs> and when she told me this, I was like, ugh, I get it, you're good looking. <laughs> Man. You don't have to tell me how hot you are by sharing a baboon masturbating story. <laughs> I get it. I never get a masturbating baboon when I go to that zoo. <laughs> I always put on my sexiest dress. I'm like, Mr. Monkey, wake up. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I was doing my taxes today. I think the hardest part about doing your taxes is like putting everything together and then putting it in an envelope and mailing it to your dad so he can do it for you. <laughs> That's like so hard. <laughs> that I'm even thinking about just going to H&R Block and then see if they'll mail it to my dad. <laughs> I was like, you guys are closer than the post office. <laughs> That'd be great. I turned 36 back in April. I'm still talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably just say I'm turning 37 soon. That would be better. I'm now at that age that like younger women use my age as a joke fake age. <laughs> I saw this girl that I knew on Facebook in public the other day and I was like, oh my God, I saw it was your birthday, how old are you? And she was like, 36, <laughs> just kidding, 23. <laughs> I'm never gonna die. <laughs> I was like, hopefully soon. <laughs> One good thing though, about being a woman in your mid-30s is that I can just finally let go of that fear of being sold into sex trafficking. <laughs> you know, it's like, woo, I can go to Europe now. <laughs> I'm so excited. I leave tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. I thought my sister's email was hacked recently, but it just turns out she actually is concerned about my belly fat. <laughs> I was like, thanks for the link. <laughs> so now I'm concerned about my belly fat. So I got one of those bathing suits that girls get to hide their midsection. It's called a tankini. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Really what it is, it's just like a one-piece bathing suit, and then they cut out this part right here. So when you sit down, your fat roll sticks out. So you just look like a busted can of biscuits sitting on the beach. You're like... This isn't hiding it. <laughs> it's actually like zeroed in on it. It's like the opposite. <laughs> Not cool. I got one of those apps on my uh, iPad. It's like one of those workout apps where it gives you the video of uh, like what each workout's going to be, but I never look at it until I get to the gym. So I took it last week and like the first workout was like this man that was just doing lunges. <laughs> So I was like, okay, that's not so weird to do at the gym. Like I've seen people do that before. So you do that for a minute. And then like the second exercise was a video of this woman like just punching the air. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, this feels really stupid, but I've seen people do a little bit of this in the gym. And then the third one is like where I have to get on my back like this and then spread my legs like this and then put my hands behind my head. And then I just yell out, somebody fuck me. <laughs> 
somebody fuck me? And you do that for about a minute. Or until they kick you out of the gym, which is usually less than a minute. It's always fun. You guys are really nice. You guys are really nice. I had this guy come up to me after a show one time and he was like, can I be brutally honest with you? And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> was a little close. I was eating at this restaurant in my neighborhood the other day and I didn't finish my meal, so I asked the waitress if she could box it up for me. And then she replied with, when did you decide to give up? Which took me a long time to figure out that she was talking about my food. That was like eight years ago. I just wanted this in a box. <laughs> I didn't know we were gonna get that personal. <laughs> I live in a shitty apartment. Do any of you guys live in a shitty apartment? <laughs> yeah, all right, shitty apartments. <laughs> I feel like in New York, in order to be happy, like, you just make your taste match your budget, you know, where you're like, oh my God, I love business carpet in my apartment. I love it. I have a broken window in my apartment right now, so I emailed my landlord to come fix it, and then he emailed me back, and he was like, I'll be on that ASAP, and now it's been over two months, and he still hasn't fixed it. So I think he thinks ASAP means actually, sorry, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna fix it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I was like, I guess that's the Eastern European ASAP. <laughs> So now I'm trying to get out of my apartment, so I'm trying to save up money. Like, I'm not in a lot of debt, just enough where I think about it all day long. <laughs> like, that kind of debt. So now I'm, like, following, like, financial columns, how to save money. And my favorite show to watch is Susie Orman's show on Friday nights. Have you guys seen it? Yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's, like, a financial advice show that's geared towards women. And there's this segment on the show that I really like called Can I Afford That? <laughs> And it's where grown women call in asking if they can buy something that they've seen. Then I'm like, just get it. <laughs> but usually it's like a 40-year-old woman that's like, Dear Susie, I make $100,000 a year, but I have $80,000 in student loan debt. There's an armoire I saw this weekend at an antique sale. It's $800. Can I afford it? And then Susie does her math with a, I don't even know what that is. Like, if somebody asked me that question, I would just put my eyes to the back of my head and be like, uh, you can get it. <laughs> but I wanted to call in with my own dilemma that I had this last month where I was like, dear Susie, I made $300 this month. My rent is $680. There's a movie on iTunes I want to rent. It's $5.99. It's HD. Can I afford it? <laughs> Guys, I got it. <laughs> All right, you guys are in real great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you so much.